hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Masi in today's video I'm out in Philadelphia so right now we are at the Rocky steps I don't know if you have watched the movie Rocky this is where when he was filming the movie would come and run you know get on top of the hill so this is what is at the top of the Rocky steps and the view of the city Zoom closer. Professor at Cheney University, not far from Shinde, 1871, was shot down on the street. He had already voted out. And, and that's the statue on the right hand side. I don't know if that's covered up with the work they're doing. We stopped at uh, this top, uh, so we are looking at uh, the Verizon Hall, which is the home to the Philadelphia Orchestra, but that's where the thing is, but it's closed, so we can't... Uh... This is the University of Arts. We continue on to tour downtown Philadelphia. So this is the Suzanne Roberts Theater, Philadelphia Theater. So right now we are in the historic district. And we are going to see the Liberty Bell Center. Thank God no tickets are required. That's the Liberty Bell Center. So that's the Liberty's Bell popularity as a symbol of the American Revolution. this ring loud that hallowed bell ring it till the slave be free the original liberty bell announced the creation of democracy the women's liberty bell will announce the completion of democracy the Liberty Bell is a very significant symbol for the entire democratic world. And there is Nelson Mandela. Proclaim liberty to all the and to all the inhabitants The bell was often rung to summon members of the assembly, like Benjamin Franklin, to meetings. The bell rings and must go among the great ones and start politics. It also rang to inform citizens of important announcements in the State House Square. And on July 8, 1776, an eager crowd gathered there to hear John Nixon give the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence. We are now so hungry, we are going to try and get the famous Philly cheesesteak. Here is the cheese. The Philly cheesesteak. So that over there is the National Constitution Center. It says it was the first amendment gallery. On this other side, that's the uh, that's Washington. So the journey continues. Uh, so Philadelphia actually was America's first capital yeah and then it was overtaken by Washington but yeah this is where they signed the first declaration of independence so now we are here the signer it says yes with yet within a mere 11 years two such moments the signing of the declaration of the independence and the signing of the Constitution of the United States just occurred in the independent hall 
just a few steps from where I am standing right now. So this sculpture I see before me commemorates the car courages of those who altered their lives and ours by affixing their names on this document. And this is it. Okay, the sun has gone so it's not so clear, but it's like a little park. Touring is over. <laughs> we now have to take a train back to our city. So here we are at the Jefferson Station. Headed to buy the tickets. 